In this video, we are going to discuss 2D reflection. So, what will be the respective transformation matrix? We shall discuss that one with proper example. So, here we can consider the respective 2D reflection here. So, we can reflect a vector across either the coordinate axis by using a scale with one negative scale factor. So, if we consider this reflection along the y axis, if we do, so just consider this one, this is one image is given. So, consider this point, you see when this, when this particular uh, image will get reflected along the y axis, the same point which was here will be coming here. So, it will remain with the same y which was there but only the x will be negative. So, if we just multiply with another matrix here, one color matrix, so containing x and y. So, if we go for this one, so it is a minus x and it will remain as plus y. So, that is, the, so this is the respective transformation matrix for reflection along y axis. And similarly, this is the transformation matrix for reflection along the x axis. So, a reflection about y axis is achieved by multiplying all x coordinates by minus 1. As I told you earlier, the y will remain the same only x will become negative. So, in case of rotation along, along the x axis if you go, so you can find that the x will remain the same but y will become negative. So, this is the transformation matrix for us. So, a reflection about the x axis is achieved by multiplying all y coordinates by minus 1. And while one might expect that the matrix with minus 1 in both elements of the diagonal is also a reflection, in fact it is just a reflection by pi radians. So, here in this particular video we have discussed that what are the respective transformation matrixes for this 2D reflection. Thanks for watching this video.